Hello everyone and welcome back to my Ultimate JNSQ series in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In this video we continue our mission to Minmus with Luemini Kerman. And it was originally intended to be a three-part mission, but we will soon launch a fourth part, a refueler, just in case. It's possible that we could do everything with what we have, but uh, I think it's a little bit too tight. So uh, we will attempt to refuel our lander as well as this return pod. But first we will get this on its way to Minmus. And then we will see what else we can do, how much fuel we can send. Any little bit would probably be enough, actually. Luemini is a farmer, so yeah. Not exactly the role we would have liked in the situation, but presumably still capable of getting some science, doing the reports and such. Certainly we can orient our craft, at least. Oh, throttle's not working for some reason. Ah, uh, strange. Oh no! Engine failed on Hermes transfer! It was a high-quality engine! It was a high-quality engine, oh no. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we can do... The other engine on here is a nitrogen... Not a nitrogen, a mob propellant engine. Um, yeah, we are clearly too far away from Minmus to continue this. Okay, well... Um, this is gonna need a rescue. This can't actually re-enter directly. And it is like 1300 meters per second into a transfer to Minmus. So, good thing she has supplies at least. Right? <laughs> I mean, let's just double check. Okay, 24 days. Well, I mean, I'm sure we can get something to her soon. Alright. Um, let me just take a look at our Leo 1. I don't think there's anything that can be done there. Dudebus can still wait for the next attempt. We can launch another one of those and do a next attempt. And Dudebus can just hang out and wait to bring that person back. So I guess we'll just leave this in orbit and Dudebus has 40 days in order to wait for that. Alright, let's get something that can rendezvous with uh, the Hermes transfer and pick Luemini up. That's probably just gotta be another Hermes transfer. Maybe we should get something that can bring her back down directly though. You know, instead of getting her back down, maybe we should just refuel the Hermes transfer. We'll create the refueler, refuel it, but though then it doesn't have the engine. Hmm. I wonder if she can explode the engine via USI stuff and just get rid of it. The refueler can do the pushing, maybe. This is all theoretical. Let's put something together. I feel a little bit guilty about using RTGs on everything. But, <laughs> sure saves a lot of trouble, doesn't it? I mean, so the, yeah, we had a high quality chrysalis. Now, mind you, uh, that gives it a 23 minute burn time and we were using 16 of it, so that could be construed as dodgy. But hey, if you tell me I have a 23 minute burn time, I should be able to use a 23 minute burn time, right? Anyway, we can't get a higher quality than that, so hopefully it'll work out. We'll try and rendezvous with it and just push it the rest of the way and pull it back. It's complicated. It's no longer functioning as a transfer vessel, is it? Hmm. We could... I don't know if we can put any more fuel on this and still have it launch on this stack. I think we should just keep it as is. One thing I will add is downward facing RCS because we didn't have that before. We really don't have that many RCS ports to work with though. 
and they're all expensive. They're more expensive than the RTGs. Can you imagine that? Uh, we'll replace... I mean, these are nice and cheap. These are only 70. I wish they had a downward-facing port, though. These also don't have downward-facing, but they're expensive anyway. These little nozzles at the bottom here are actually engines, not RCS ports, so... We could use them to push forward. Yeah, it might be cheaper that way, but it's better, I think, overall to do it like this. Okay, so this is Hermes Refuel. Well, it's not really Hermes Refuel, but anyway, we'll call it that for now. Okay, let's see if we can get over to Luemini. And then we have to hope that the Chrysalis engine on this will work out for the rest of the trip. Unless Luemini could move the engine over, but she's not an engineer. So, I don't think so. Could send an engineer. I don't know if they have all their skills unlocked, though. Uh, well, we'll wait until she's come around. Like, oh, well, we're boiling off already, though. We'll wait, roll back, and then launch. I think that's how we'll go. Well, uh, Luemini's gonna get extra radiation. She's crossing the belts at least one extra time compared to what we were trying to don't know about the exact timing for launch. Anyway, let's roll this back so it gets refueled. Okay, well, I think we should go. Though I don't know if it's the right timing or not. I want to directly intercept and that's a little bit hard to time here. It, I'm a little bit more familiar with everything in the context of Earth, but this is a little bit different. So, oh, my throttle still doesn't work. Okay, we don't want that much. Use keyboard. Alright, and... Launch. Okay, throttle up. And separate. Okay. Well, fairings now might be a little bit hot. Okay, well, bearings. And we might as well dump the stage. Let's cut throttle. Okay, so, Chrysalis engine again. Um, it's tumbling a little bit. Uh, does it? It only has a weak reaction wheel, so maybe that's the problem. Anyway, we'll let it be for now. Um, I don't know if the Hermes transfer... The Hermes transfer is definitely not going to get here by the time we're here. So, we're not exactly at the best time right now. I took too long in starting this engine. I forgot this aspect of it. It's going down really fast. Maybe I should have gone negative target. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, this one was a bust. But if we can get next one off quickly enough, it'll be better off to transfer to our target. Okay, alright. A bit of lost money there. But vehicle assembly. And perhaps a better opportunity now. Uh, it was okay. Um, I might want some extra comms, though. Come to think of it. We have plenty of extra part count available. Let me get one of these Omni Intent. Oh, there's another one there, right? Yeah, this one is just hiding. Alright, fine. Let's just go with this. One more time. Okay, SAS on, throttle up, and not up that much, and go.
Okay, throttle up. And, and separation, not ignition. Oh, there's a little cloud layer here. Okay, fairings. Oops. Fairings. Fairings. Okay, continuing to intercept. I don't think it should be that much relative speed, but... Well, I guess we do have to do the entire boost, though. Shoot. We don't have the time to actually match velocities with it. Uh Okay, how's Lemony doing on the radiation? Six percent, I guess it's alright. She's gonna have to pass through the radiation belts again. Oh we've lost comms. I forgot to extend that stupid antenna. <laughs> uh, we'll probably pick something up soon though. Okay, okay, we've picked something up. Um Maybe I'll just wait until that and that meet. Hopefully. Uh, this might not be the best idea. Okay, 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 okay. This has gone all pear-shaped again. Well, it's gonna cost a bundle, but we'll do a maneuver here to get an encounter there. And we're looking at 720, let's say. So that'll leave us with a thousand, but you know, that's not gonna be a thousand when we get there. But we'll still have the fuel in there, but that fuel now has to, it's complicated. So, whatever, we'll do this. We'll rendezvous. And we'll try to get Luemini at least over to Minmus. And then we'll figure out our next steps there. I don't know if Luemini can explode parts or not. Oh, let me get that antenna out. There's a huge radial change. And does temporarily put us on a suborbital trajectory. Okay, that's our encounter. Okay, well, let's just point towards it now. Okay, here we go for rendezvous. Well above Kerbin here. Heading down to Periapsis so that we can perhaps complete a burn to Minmus. It'll be quite late, so Minmus has probably moved on. I don't know which way we're going to go with this. Okay, we have docked. Well, we have our little pseudo Agena now. This engine, critical failure. I don't know if. Let's see if Luemini can explode it. Dissemble part. Okay. Well, we didn't have anywhere to store the material kits, but we've gotten rid of that, so it's not an extra extra weight on this or mass. A board. All right, so now let's sort things out. Oh, we can't fuel transfer, can we? Oh, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Um, we need resource transfer. Let me see if we can unlock res resource transferring. I mean, right now we should be fine. Let me just make sure we're controlling from here. And that says 379. That should be enough to complete it with just this engine to get us there. Mimus is still far back enough, I think. Uh, moon transfer to Minmus? Could we possibly get some of that? Let's see. I mean, if you take a look at what we see here, target position at closest approach is there. 
and our descending node is there. So we cross the orbit right there. Oh, and then it hides it. See? See? This is what I'm talking about. This kind of bad behavior from the game. Well, anyway, that's one thing we can try, but let me see. Resource transfer. How do we get that? Resource transfer available with the R&D building unlock. The most expensive one. 902,000. Well, I guess we can't do that just yet. Oh, well, I mean, unless we pick up some ambitious contract that doesn't have a time limit. That doesn't pay us enough. I mean, these uh, rescue contracts effectively don't have much of a time limit. Oh, rescue Landley from Orbit of Minmus. Those can't be too bad. Why don't we just pick those up? I mean, that won't get us to where we need to be. And we have, we're we tight on the contract slots right now, too. Green sandstone. I don't know if we're going to be landing in those biomes. And it doesn't pay that much. Super lucrative on the advance. Yeah, I think all of them combined won't be enough to unlock the R&D building, so... And of course we don't have enough slots for that anyway, unless we also unlock mission control, which will cost its own bundle. Okay, anyway, let's do the maneuver that we plotted. How radiated is she now? 11%, no, I just hit 12%. Okay, and go. Okay, RCS time. Okay, what kind of moon approach do we have right now? Any indication of anything good happening? Oh, can't edit the maneuver node because she's just a farmer. Okay, well now we can't see our moon approach at all. But that sort of happens. So I'm gonna bet it's still there. The moon's over here though. That must be after a really long time. I think that's that's a, okay. So, wait, seven days. All right. So that that moon approach is like after we go around again. I think. Yeah. Okay. So that's what was going on. Okay. Now now I've got maybe an indication of something over there. Okay. But it's costing us a lot. Now the moon wants to get in on the act on the opposite side. Well, see now the problem is this stage doesn't have enough. Just for the transfer, much less the capture. Now we do have the RCS, the mob propellant. But I don't know how much delta V that is in total. So this is all very troubling. I think I'm gonna try and use the RCS over here in parallel with the main engine. And that says 32 meters per second there, that doesn't make me feel any better. Oh, it cross feeds from both sides, shoot. That's so complicated because I don't want it taking from here. <laughs> um, oh gosh darn it. But this still has this mod propellant. Flow priority, let's see, minus, 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 minus. Probably too late now. Okay, so good news, we have a path to Minmus. Bad news, I have no idea how much Delta V we have to capture. So, here we go. As far as supplies, 20, 21 days of water here. And two days out. I still haven't put that one thing that corrects for the clock, so we're talking about four days probably, or five days. Okay, we are in Minmus SOI now. Um, oops. Uh, let's try for an EVA. 
EV report. Surface sample. Can I get a surface sample? Invalid situation. Okay. Just checking. Okay. We, in theory, have that. And I suppose it... Oh, she's got 27% radiation now. Okay, time to attempt capture. Oh, I didn't want to use RCS. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's turn off the mount propellant engine temporarily. Okay, ignition. Oh, it is draining from this tank anyway. Okay, alright. Not only the mount propellant was, like, universal, but it is taking from that tank now. Okay, we will capture. That's fine. But we're severely out of a whole lot of things. Okay, that'll be good enough for now. We can probably rendezvous with the Hermes Lander, but I want to send something else out to refuel. Refuel? No, maybe we need just a new transfer pod sent out here. Yeah. Something that didn't have the Chrysalis engine die. And see if it can bring her back like that. Let's see about that. Is it time to unlock the pad or the VAB? To alleviate some of our suffering? Hmm. I think we can manage without that. Pad is only a hundred thousand though. <laughs> That is only a hundred thousand. I'm reducing the data capacity that we had on it. That'll save us some delta V. And I think I'm not gonna rely on it to do any science, so... Configure uncrewed experiments. Um, we really don't need any. Okay, so without any Kerbal, we will try to launch this and just send it directly over to Minmus without any rendezvous or anything like that. Okay, well I don't want to wait for boil off to happen. SAS on, throttle up, and throttle not quite that far up, and launch. Okay, throttle up, and separation. Okay, well, that set of fairings should go with everything else. Okay, separation and ignition. Oh, this is just my day for horrible things, isn't it? Yeah, I am having a bad day here. <laughs> Definitely having a bad day. Oh. Well, we've got power back, but this thing is useless right now. Doesn't have enough Delta V to do anything in particular. And it can't be recoverable. I'm just gonna abandon it. Okay, I give up. Uh, we're wasting too much money not unlocking the pad, so we will unlock the pad. Otherwise, we'll keep having uh, underpowered rockets the whole time. Uh, we also have enough for advanced rocketry, but I don't think this is the way I was wanting to go. Uh, we had other priorities. But I feel like some engines could do with better counterparts. Especially upper stage engines. That chrysalis engine is just too weak. Small tanks would be nice too, if they're around here somewhere. We have to think about what we're going to be doing at Duna though. Miniaturization would be nice. Uh, let's let's try for these upgrades with the advanced rocketry first. I'm sure we want a flight control and a big heat shield, right? But we've got sort of got an architecture that doesn't require the big heat shield and that business. We're trying to make one anyway. So better engines and maybe miniaturization down the road will be an alternate thing. Yeah, at least allow us to send some nice probes over to Mars, potentially. 
Okay, let's see what I can do with the better engines. Okay, so here is the updated Hermes Transfer Vehicle, Hermes Transfer 2. Now no longer under the 18 ton limit, but still with a 30 part limit, which has caused some problems obviously. Uh, but we have new parts thanks to unlocking the new level of rocketry. And so we have 2.5 meter parts. These are 2.5 meter tanks. Unfortunately, they're the balloon tanks, so we can't attach things to the side of them. Uh, and that caused a little bit of an issue down here where I had to put a fuel tank adapter here so that I could put these little radial attachment points. And I don't know if they're lighter if I put them to this level. No, it doesn't seem to matter. Uh, so I'll just keep them like that. Uh, radial attachment points so that I can mount two of these Perseus engines. I noticed that the Perseus engine vacuum has a thrust at sea level that's the same as the thrust of this Perseus, Perseus one, even though this one has better ISP, of course, at sea level. So just using two of these seemed like a good idea. It actually gets a tiny, tiny bit of extra thrust at sea level uh, if we use those. So anyway, we've got those two. They're the same mass, even though this one has a larger nozzle. I, uh, there are questions here, right? It's 0.56 here, 0.56 here, even though this one doesn't have the big nozzle. Uh, I don't know, maybe that should be reconsidered. But anyway, we'll set that aside. If that's how it is, then that's how it is. So we have balloon tanks filled with uh, hydrogen and oxygen, as usual, or oxidizer as usual and that gets us 4772 meters per second so this is basically single stage uh, to very close to orbit hopefully <laughs> i guess is the best way to put it and then we have the transfer vehicle now with a hebel engine and the hebel engine has more thrust than the regular uh, the chrysalis engine that we were the seeker engine that we were using i keep calling it the chrysalis engine but it's a chrysalis size secret whatever Anyway, so the Hebel engine is somewhere. Anyway, that's the Seeker engine that we're replacing, and there's the Hebel engine. So the Seeker engine had 300, this has 306 uh, seconds ISP in vacuum, and that had 6.67 kilonewtons, this is 10.5, so that's at the center. But I've also got two Chrysalis Seeker engines on the sides, just in case we have a problem. So that. Uh, cause problems for our part count. We also had to use real attachment points for those, but we do have the RTGs. We have the upper stage kit and the thrusters here as previously placed, and everything else up here is the same. So that is the situation. Uh, up here that gets us eight, uh, 4,835 meters per second, which should hopefully be enough, but we'll find out. Let's try again uh, to get this over to Minmus and their pick we'll eventually have to pick up uh, Luemini and bring her back. Now of course this won't do the re-entry part that's still on the vehicle waiting for her in low earth a low carbon orbit low carbon orbit. Okay low thrust weight ratio on takeoff though and that's because I simply don't have enough part count to add anything more. If I tried the LFO engines, by the way, I did unlock some. I spent a lot of money just unlocking stuff, but uh, the best LFO engines that we have still wouldn't give us uh, more Delta V, so. They're basically the, whatchamacallit, Titan engine, the LR87 style. Okay, so we are not going to wait. We are going to launch SAS on. Throttle is up, and launch. Okay, well, that was more sedate than I was expecting. I'm just gonna let it go up for a bit. Okay, well, we should be through the worst of the dynamic pressure. I think I forgot the supplementary antenna. The beep seems to agree with me. I tried out the Terrier engine. It's just too heavy by default. It's 0.5 tons. It's a very heavy engine. Even though it has 345 seconds ISP, which is very good compared to this one. 
this was more beneficial unless we put extra fuel mass at the top. We would need maybe a six ton stage. Okay, well, we'll just uh, cut it there. Wow, it took a while for it to sort of flame out there. I don't have a happy little antenna on here, do I? We can't actually attach things to this tank either. It is another one of those balloon tanks. So these RCS ports were attached to the pod and slid down. Which I think is fair because, I mean, the Atlas tanks at least had verniers on them. Well, we'll see how good a signal we can get what we have here. Not very good. If it was Kerbal on board, it wouldn't be a problem. Okay, well, we better go ahead and ignite again. Definitely not a single stage to orbit. But we should be good enough to complete orbit with this engine. There's a thing there. We are communicating through that thing. Okay, we have made orbit and that's good enough for me right there. Um, let's try a transfer over. Hopefully we can pick up a relay at a certain point. Well, we've lost comms for now. I don't know if we can do the burn or not. But we have a plot here that will at least get us to Minmus SOI. We'll see if we pick up comms. Well, not in time. We'll try for the next orbit. I can't. I probably can't change that right now. I think we should send a relay over to Minmus just to make sure. I'll wait one more. Well, at least we're at close to our apoapsis, so that we're not gonna clip the atmosphere or anything. Okay, turning to the node. And after this, we should have plenty to capture around Minmus and return to as planned, finally. Okay, here we go. But yeah, I wish I had gotten an extra antenna. Oh, we've still got the nose cap on. Shoot. But we didn't really have the part count, though. So yeah. We'll need to do something about that soon. Okay, I'll stop it there. We clearly have some sort of encounter. Okay, 13 meters per second, then we will get a pretty good pass there. Let's just do that at the prescribed time. Assuming our comms are gonna be okay. Well, we're not... Uh, at this point, it'll just be a matter of signal strength, so... And perhaps, well, no, we can't use RCS like that. Okay, I'm gonna thrust limit the engine and then do a little bit more. Okay, that should be pretty accurate. Unthrust limit the engine. Still 12 minutes and 16 ignitions, it says there. Or so it says. Well, close enough for now. So right now we've got a signal strength of 98%, but that's going to diminish pretty quickly. We're not that close though, so, you know, maybe it'll be alright. I don't think we have a relay system at Minmus. Before this gets over there, I think I want to send over a relay satellite. So uh, we'll hold off on time warping for this until next time. I'll launch a relay satellite over to Minmus, just to make sure that we have comms. And that way, this one is not going to fail to capture into orbit. And we'll finally get on with our Minmus mission. So anyway, it's been a lot of a lot of fail this time around. But hopefully we can pick it up next time. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.